Every once in a while, you get a QuickTime file that just won't open up. So in this case, for example, I, I downloaded this animation. It's kind of an animation file. It's a heads-up display, these kind of circles that spin around. And I open it up, but what's this? The file isn't compatible with QuickTime Player. Well, that's kind of rude. I mean, I'm on a Mac. I got QuickTime Player. This is the QuickTime file. Usually, you just double-click and it opens. Okay, well, I want to use it in the Kino anyway. So I'll just drag and drop to see if that works. And uh, basically, same problem, a little bit different message that says the file couldn't be converted into a compatible format. And, well, what the heck does that mean? All right, so what are we going to do? Well, what I did is, and what I do recommend, is using DaVinci Resolve. And this is DaVinci Resolve. It's a free app. It's a beautiful video editor. It's a pro level, but the app is free to begin with. This is the pro version, but it looks exactly like the free version. And I've tried it in the free version, and it does work the same thing. So again, here's our file. So let's just pull it in. There we go. And now we can see it. Oh, it works. Okay. So this has an alpha channel. It's an animation file, actually, that is transparent. So just to make sure that it's working, let me take this photo or this slide. This is a slide. And you can see that this is what I'm going after. Yeah, okay, that's what I want. And I want to export it with the transparency. So how can I do that? So what I do is I don't have to do any more editing, nothing like that. So this is the editing tab, by the way, down here. But you don't have to, even if you've, you're using Resolve for the first time, that's all you need to know. Then go over here, we're going to export it, which is called delivery. So we're exporting it. So you click on that, this is what you get. We want to go over here to the left. You can uh, you know, give it a name. It's going to be untitled at first. And then yours will look a little bit different here. Um, so this is what it should look like. So just go in and search. There's many different options, but what we want is QuickTime, right? So choose QuickTime, and then under Codec, Apple ProRes, and then Apple, for type, Apple ProRes 4444. So just make sure yours looks like this. And then this is really important. You want to export it. Uh, the alpha channel. So if you don't click that, if you don't have an alpha channel, then don't worry about that. You don't have to click that. But if you do have an alpha channel, like in my case, that's what I want. So it's very important. All right. And then just go down here to add render queue. And then over here, you can see I've already done this many times, but this is the latest one. I'm just going to put it on the desktop and click render. And this is really fast. So it'll just take a few seconds. Okay, so on the desktop here is our circles export. And remember, last time I couldn't open it. So let's see if I can open it now. Whoa, it opens. Look at that. But the problem is, uh, this is not what I want. Uh, is it, does it have an alpha channel? I can't really see it in this unless I put it into Keynote. So let's drop it into Keynote. And if it works, it should be, yeah, we can see the, the background there. We don't have anything in the background, but if we did put a photo in there, we could see that. So it works. But the problem is, it's not a huge problem, but we want to make files as small as we can if we're going to use loads of videos, which I like to do. So what we do is just, again, open it up. See, double-click. It's opening QuickTime. Then go to Export As, 1080p. That's the size. And make sure, usually you only have two options, but we want, because we have a transparency, we have an alpha channel, we want to preserve that transparency. So choose HEVC, Preserve Transparency. And then I'll change the name. Let's just call it Small and we'll save that. And the quality will not be reduced, but the file size will be a lot smaller. So let's see, this is much smaller file size, but the actual physical size, the dimensions on the slide are the same and the quality looks the same to me. It might be slightly less, but I can't see the difference. And the difference in file size is immense. So if we command I and we look, we can see here it's less than five megabytes. So that's quite a saving. So we're making money on this deal already. So anyway, that's how you do it. Thank you.